okay, hi, Abisola, I met this guy, he's older, something I've always wanted, but he stays in his family house at 29, and he earns 40,000 naira salary from a teaching job. Did he say 40,000 or 40k? 40k now. Because just for 40k. Not 40 k maybe 40, 40k USD. <laughs> You have to qualify. He's in Nigeria. He is has... he in Nigeria? Yes. How do you know he's in Nigeria? Because the way she said this teaching job thing and the okay. way for her to come and complain here is he um he has seven siblings and some are about to gain admission. His dad is late and his mom is old. And he is the second born but first son. He wants me, but I don't know what to do. He said he he will get an apartment soon and that he will try to get a better paying job. He studied elect elect in school and we know how difficult it is landing a job in that field in Nigeria nowadays. I'm 27 and I need to get married before I get to 30 at least. Please, what should I do? This is from Abisola. This is from Abisola. Yeah. Abisola is a 29 year old guy who is a teacher earning 40 grand. From a teaching job is the first son, second child, first mm -hmm. first child, second first boy, second um... second child, first son. Okay. Yes. He's a second child and first son with seven siblings. Yeah. Um living in a family house, 29 years old. She has a three-year window to get married. So she's confused because and I feel like you know what she's writing here, I feel like this is like the first um, older person. Like she's meeting older than her older because than I feel like the remaining people that have been, the past people that have been meeting her were younger. Okay. Yeah, she has been doing young guys. Do I do we do, do do I go do I go gangster on this uh, <laughs> on this scenario? Or do I allow people to talk? <laughs> I, I have my thoughts, and you may not like my thoughts. A lot of you, eh, I'm sure by the time I state my thoughts, eh, a lot of people will come for me. A lot of people will come for me. I am certain about that. Please let's hear the talk. Okay, so let's let's allow people to go first. Um, let's allow people to go first. Miracle. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, you need the thing is if he if he's capable of taking care of you, and if he feels like he can actually take care of his family and actually take care of you at the same time, he's not having any uh, problem with it. Then I believe yes, it's capable. So he has you know, he now, might not really have that much money, but at least he can take care of you. He can take care of his family, regardless of the money he's having. I mean, he might have management skill. If, you know, he might be good at saving up and doing all those kind of things. Let me be in perspective to you, okay? Um, and this is for those for people who live in Lagos, because I, I don't know for people who live in Lagos, Nigeria, a, a paint a paint container of. Um, if you haven't heard, a paint container of um, of beans is selling for seven thousand naira. That's market. I'm giving you market statistics as of yesterday. Seven thousand naira a paint container. Okay, so this guy basically with his forty grand uh, paycheck, <laughs> is probably going to buy like uh, five paint containers and then one paint of uh, Gary. So <laughs> you have to trek to work or something like that. I'm not working the situation. We're just telling the reality, Gabriel. Yeah. Your thoughts? See, the um, thing is that there's nothing wrong in growing with a man. You understand? I feel that as well, most most people used to run away from it because of a man is 29 and any 40k. It doesn't really matter. That's if you want to go with him. You understand? Yeah. And take a look at your take a look at the ladies and what are you doing? What are you doing for yourself? Are you any? Because I feel that if you and the man um, talk about it and you are also financially Capable. you can actually grow with him so do you now what what i don't understand in the girl's point of view is that what are you really bothered about is it the 40k is it that you stay in the family's house or what's actually because i feel like let, 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 let me tell you since you don't understand let me tell you what is bothered about all right is, is is that getting married late 29 year old 40k teaching job second child first son seven siblings family house and his brothers or his siblings are waiting admission. So she has summarized the situation. And all that is going to come out of that 40,000 naira a month. All right. Let me let's not sugarcoat this. This is not a Hollywood or Nollywood movie. Okay. Don't deceive yourself. Um, 
it's mostly in Hollywood movies that the prince marries uh, <laughs> that Cinderella or whatever. It's, and even in most most movies, it's usually a poor girl that marries a rich guy. Very rarely do you hear stories of movies in which the princess is the the king's daughter ends up with a poor guy. Very very rarely. I'm not saying it does not happen. <laughs> Okay. Do you understand? It's painful, all right. And and, and I I will talk. I will say this. I'll, I'll talk to this about young men. Um, when I was a single guy, and when I was um, very very much before I started working, okay, I would go out. I still remember one particular experience in which I went to check someone at home, and then the father came and and caught me in the house on his on the morning Monday morning or so, and then. Father sat me down, and this was what he told me. He said, young man, all right? He quizzed me about my where I was in, in life at that time, and I told him where I was, and just a young man, just get your finances in order. I know you're a good guy, I know you're irresponsible, just get your, you can't undo the responsibility that is ahead of you. That man, I didn't know that man was helping me. <laughs> you get me? Yes. The responsibilities that, and I will tell you this, for every single, and you have to just talk to people who are married, who have children okay almost every single person and this is not just for nigeria alone generally around the world almost everywhere around the world people who are married there are struggling because from a financial standpoint things are getting much more expensive right things that used to cost about a thousand five hundred now cost about six thousand four times the amount okay there's one thing that is guaranteed right and it's inflation Things will get more expensive. That is guaranteed. Your increase in income is not guaranteed. So if you are with a particular man and he does not earn enough, and you cannot see a pathway for him, you can't help him with a pathway. You can't even get a better job. Not that you are telling him to go and find a better job. You, all right, talk to people who help him get a better job. If you are not in that position, then just leave the young man alone. And don't waste the young man's time, the barriers that he has in, ahead of him, let him sort out those barriers and don't waste your time. And this is coming from a man. Because most times when men love you, when they care about you, they will tell you that, just try to be patient, try to stay with me. Those are the, those other things I will tell people. Um, don't worry, things will get better in future. Um, we can take care of you and all that. We'll walk through this. The only condition under which you probably, I would say that you should have faith with this person. The only condition I would say that is if you far out any money, you're ready to support him, or you the guy has a farm, and on that farm he can grow food to feed you and the children. Okay, if he doesn't have any of those two, it's going to be extremely difficult. He has to find better pay. Okay, he just has to. It's a painful thing to say, and I know most most men who watch this probably would feel a bit. You can feel downcast that, um, all right. But there's there's a particular basic income that you have to earn to function in any society, and forty grand limits the options that are available to people, unless you are in a city where you have a farm, and then you you as the wife are willing to support. So those are the those are the caveats. So if you are willing to support, probably you out earning. And you are willing to support him with your income, then all fine and good. But if not for that, just leave the young man alone to put his house in order.